Good morning, friends. It's Miss Amanda again, and it's time for another story. I'm going to read a story about this little guy. Does anybody remember him? Anyone remember who he is? If you didn't guess it, his name is the Very Hungry Caterpillar. And I don't, we've read this story many times in our classroom. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Are you ready to read it? Okay, here we go. One more page. I got this. Okay, friends. In the light of a moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Who sees the little egg? Is it right here? Yeah. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny, see how tiny he is? and very hungry caterpillar. Since he was hungry, he started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one nice crisp apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two very nice green pears. But guess what? He was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. Should we count the plums? Ready? One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. Mmm, don't they look yummy? One, two, three, four strawberries. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges. It's a lot of oranges. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, a piece of cherry pie, a sausage, a muffin, and one piece of watermelon. And guess what? That night, he had a bad tummy ache. He doesn't look too happy, does he? The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Uh, I think he looks back to himself again. He wasn't very hungry anymore and he wasn't a tiny little caterpillar anymore either. He was a big, ginormous caterpillar. Look how big he is. Wow, he ate a lot to get that big. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself and stayed inside for more than two weeks. That's what two stay at home days, a class, a class week, a whole week, two more stay at home days and a whole nother class week. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out and wow. He was a beautiful butterfly. Isn't he so pretty now? That's one of our favorite books in, in our class. Isn't it cool how caterpillars come out of a, such a tiny egg? They go and eat, and then they build this awesome cocoon, which is their house for a while. They stay inside with their cocoon. That is so awesome. Most tight cocoons hang upside down off of like a leaf or a branch. So that was another story time with Miss Amanda. I hope you guys have a great day and you're staying safe. Talk to you later, bye.